What is going on, everybody? Today, I want to talk about something that Tyree Wilson said. Uh, and to me, this is very, very interesting. You know, Tyree Wilson was asked about his health. Uh, Ondo Carpenter asked Tyree Wilson where he was when it came to his health. Is he 80%, 75%? Where does he think he is? And Tyree Wilson went on to say, I think I am 100% healthy. Tyree Wilson gave us that information that he feels 100% healthy. And Hondo Carpenter then went and asked him a second question. He said, well, let's talk about getting off the ball quickly. Isn't that just a part of getting back into football shape? And Tyree Wilson said, no, it's not. He said, to improve that, you just come to practice every day and focus on the get off and everything else. And I found this very, very interesting that Tyree Wilson said that. Because let's be honest, Tyree Wilson was very slow off the ball in this first game. He looked very, very bad. The hand-to-hand -hand passers technique was non-existent. He was not able to create any sort of separation between him and the offensive tackle. And it just did not look good. And to say Tyree Wilson looked bad is, is honestly, is, is probably not, it's probably being nice towards Tyree Wilson, right? Because what Tyree Wilson looked like in that first game was absolutely terrible. And I want to talk a little bit about it. You know, if Tyree Wilson is telling us that he's 100% healthy, if he is telling us that he's already in game shape, does that mean Tyree Wilson is just naturally slow? Because if that's the case, people have said, why doesn't he just move to the defense tackle position? And I find that very interesting. First and foremost, why doesn't Tyree Wilson just play defensive tackle as opposed to playing defensive end? Uh, I think with that conversation, you really have to think about the fact that Tyree Wilson is a seventh overall pick at defensive end, not at defensive tackle. Tyree Wilson overpowers a lot of athletic, you know, 295, 315-pound offensive tackles. He overpowers those guys. He's not going to overpower a 330-pound offensive guard, a stronger interior offensive lineman. He's not going to overpower those guys. It's two completely different positions. Uh, in terms of the get-off, you know, yeah, if it doesn't work at defensive end, it would make sense to move him at defensive tackle. But I think the better approach to this is Tyree Wilson just needs to work on the get-off. And I know he's saying that to improve that, he just has to come to practice every day and just to work on it. But I don't know. Something tells me that that's not going to be good enough. Something tells me this guy's going to have to work on it even harder than just coming to practice. You know, Tyree Wilson getting off the ball is is important. It's, it's, the, it's probably the biggest part of him being able to get after the quarterback. I oftentimes say this. The way to win as a defensive end is to use your hands. But it goes even beyond that. And Lane Johnson talked a little bit about it. For an offensive lineman, the way to win, it really starts with your get off. It's how explosive you are at the point of attack, how explosive you are when it comes to the timing of the snap. And for Tyree Wilson or for defensive linemen, generally speaking, it's the same concept. You got to be explosive on that side of the ball. And it's part of what makes Michael Parsons, uh, it's a part of what makes guys like Khalil, uh, Khalil Mack and even Max Crosby so great. They time the snap and they explode out of there. And they, that first step is very, very, very unique. Well, with Tyree Wilson, we're not seeing that right now. And to me, the guy has to put it together. Now, we're about to play a Buffalo Bills team who has a left tackle in Deion Dawkins and a right tackle in Dwayne Brown. Both guys aren't very good. Both guys aren't that fast. But both guys are strong, right? Both offensive tackles are strong. They're just not very quick or athletic. And for Tyree Wilson... That's kind of a disadvantage if you guys think about it, because right now, Tyree Wilson's not fast. He's not explosive. All he has going right now for him is just the power. So for Tyree Wilson to use his power against a tackle who is powerful themselves, you know, I don't know. Maybe the Raiders to going into this week, maybe they roll forward with Malcolm Kuntz and put Kuntz in more so than Tyree Wilson. I don't know. I just found it interesting that Tyree Wilson told us that he is 100% healthy and he is up to uh, the game shape. Unless he just doesn't recognize it, I find that interesting as hell, right? So I did want to kind of just talk about it, uh, and let's let's wrap the video up and, and just kind of talk a little bit about the defensive line, generally speaking. You know, the Bills have a, a superstar quarterback in Josh Allen. I don't care what anybody says. Josh Allen's one of the best four or five quarterbacks on planet Earth. There's not a whole lot of people better than this guy. And he's pissed. He's angry. He's going to come out. He's going to whoop the Raiders' ass. Stephon Diggs is hearing the noise, right? Some of the guys on the offense side, they're hearing the noise that the Bills may not be that good. And they're going to come in and they're going to want to beat the Raiders. And for the Raiders, the way to win this game is to really get after the quarterback. And that's going to start with the defensive line. 
Max Crosby will continue being Max Crosby. He'll continue doing what he's always shown us to kind of uh, be, that he's able to kind of do. But the defensive end on the other side, it's it's going to be massive. Tyree Wilson has to get after it. And I, I, I hate going back to this because, you know, at the end of the day, we've already made the pick and we're already moved forward and we're already going past it. Um, but the fact that the Raiders took Tyree Wilson over Jalen Carter, everybody's talking about it, right? It's trended like crazy on social media the past two days, especially since Jalen Carter's had two pretty damn good games to kind of start his NFL career. But the Raiders should have taken Jalen Carter. That would have been the correct pick. And I get why you don't take a Jalen Carter, and I get why you take Tyree Wilson, but I'm interested in knowing what the Raiders saw in Tyree Wilson to say we're going to take this guy, right? Because Tyree Wilson, before his foot injury, we know what this guy was. But after his foot injury, he doesn't look the same. To me, he doesn't have that that same first step, even though it wasn't great. He doesn't have that same first step as he had in the past. And again, it's just one game in the NFL. I guess two because we saw the same thing in preseason as well in that final third game. But it's only been a couple of weeks, right? He can still get better and better and quicker and faster and more explosive. Um, but I do find it interesting because we took Tyree Wilson, and I'm interested in knowing what it is that Dave Ziegler and his staff saw in Tyree Wilson in the whole, uh, you know, post or in the whole combine process, the pre-draft visits. What did they see to make them feel comfortable? That, you know, one guy's kind of questionable with his character. One guy's questionable because of a medical injury, right? And they decided to go with one guy or the other. What was it that made them go with that other guy, right? And I'm, I'm very interested in knowing because something has to have told them that, hey, that the foot injury that Tyree Wilson has, he'll recover and he'll be good to go. And I do find it interesting that Tyree Wilson feels he's 100% healthy. I don't know. I find that interesting. But either way, what do you guys think? What are your some expectations for the Raiders? Again, I would roll forward with Malcolm Coons because I do think that the offensive tackles of the Bills are more powerful and slower as opposed to more athletic. Uh, and I think it just makes sense to roll forward with the Malcolm Coons. And I do understand that Tyree Wilson needs every single rep to get better. And the hope is, is that come, you know, week 12, he's had enough reps that he's finally able to kind of put it together. We'll see if that actually happens. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.